Hey y'all, um, I actually wanted to share with y'all a recipe that I'm making for dinner. It's actually been in the crock pot all day and someone yesterday suggested that I, would sh I should share recipes or something So on my last video. So I um, am going to do that today. So I'm making baked potato soup and it's in the crock pot as we speak and I hope y'all are seeing that okay. It's not the best lighting right where the crock pot is. Um, but that's what it looks like. I'm sure y'all can kind of see it. Okay, so I'm gonna just show y'all, or tell y'all exactly what I did, all the ingredients that I used, and yeah, we're gonna show y'all all the ingredients, and I'm gonna show you, I said we're gonna show y'all, and tell y'all what I did. I will also link the uh, recipe down below, and I will just, I will name out all the ingredients, or list out all the ingredients for y'all. It's really easy. I love doing soups and stuff for the winter and the fall because you can freeze them and they're just really good when it's a little chilly outside. So um, that's what I'm making. So I got this up with Pinterest. I will link my Pinterest um, account information down below. So if you want to go follow me, but I will go ahead and just get started. So the first thing is you need a crock pot, obviously, and you usually want to like oil down your crock pot before you put this in. But all the ingredients that you'll need is... Um, You'll need some sort of ha diced potato hash browns, and you'll need like the 30, what is this, 32 ounce bag, and this is just the Kroger brand, that's just where I went today. Um, I'm not partial to any brand, I just kind of go with what's cheap or what, what, what my selection is, so this is what I got, and you literally just put that all in the crock pot. First, you put the potatoes in, and then you're going to take some chicken broth, and ooh, this is the Kroger brand as well, this is, you, you're going to do the 32 ounce little um, box of pin of chicken broth. You don't want, you want just the original. You don't want the like reduced fat or the reduced sodium. You just want the regular chicken broth. Okay, and then you're gonna put that all over the potatoes. And then you are gonna add one can of cream of chicken soup. And I already actually used a can. This is just an, one I have in my pantry, but I just wanted to show y'all. So I could actually show y'all because I actually already threw the can away. Um, and then you are going to take, um, you're gonna need some bacon bits. And these are just the Oscar Mayer ones. You want these three, what did that say? Yeah, three ounce um, container. And you're going to put half of the bacon bits in there. Then you're going to stir it all around. And so it's just potatoes, chicken broth, cream of chicken soup, and half bacon bits. So you're literally just going to stir that all around and um, in your crock pot. And you're going to put it on low for seven to eight hours. Um, depending on your crock pot and everything, I put mine on seven hours and then... You're also going to need cream cheese, which I don't have out because I already, actually, here, I have it right here. You're going to need one um, container of original cream cheese. You don't want to get the reduced fat kind, you just want the regular kind because it's just better and it. I think the reduced fat it just won't uh, melt as good. I don't know. Anyways, probably not, but I think you should just get the original kind. Um, that's what the recipe says. <laughs> So you literally, after it's been, you're going to, okay, you're going to set your timer for seven to eight hours, depending. And then an hour before you're going to serve it, you're going to take your whole thing of cream cheese and you're going to dice it, or dice it, I guess you're going to cut it into small cubes. Then you're going to put it in your crock pot. And as you can see, there's some white cubes still in there and I'm waiting for it to melt. And then you're going to put it on there for an hour. And then after it all melts and basically when your potatoes are tender, and all the cream cheese melts into, like it's all melted into a soup and it gets really thick. That's when you're ready to serve it. And then of course you want to take some bacon bits to top it off and some cheese. I just get this finely cheddar, ch finely, finely shredded cheddar, cheddar cheese and voila. So I just want to share that with y'all. I know it's not, it's really bad lighting and I know y'all, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I'll probably post a picture so you can see like the final result. And, oh, and then also you're going to need salt and pepper to just season it a little bit with. So I will link the recipe. I'm sorry I was shaky and not the greatest video, but yeah, so that was the ingredients. It's super easy and your husband or significant other or friend will love it. So talk to you guys later. Bye.